So, The Woman King was directed by Gina prince Bythewood and stars Viola Davis, Lashana Lynch, John Boyega, Thuzum Duba, Sheila Atim, I'm pretty sure I'm mispronouncing a couple of those names there. But this movie is about a group of warrior women in Africa, and they train a bunch of other young women to fight their enemies, and so on and so forth. So, I did see this movie a few weeks ago, and initially I was going to talk about it, I was just excited to talk about it. And then a bunch of controversy came out over the film, and I kind of took a step back for a bit because I kind of wanted to talk about it, but at the same time, kind of address some of the controversy as well. And I guess I'm going to review it as a movie first and kind of talk about some of the things I felt about it afterwards. I, I will just say this. I do think this is a really good movie. I think the action is great. I do think the actors do a really good job. Doesn't mean it's perfect. I do have some things I do want to talk about, but let's get into the positives first. So, what works in this movie? Well, the acting, for the most part, is actually really good for the most part. Uh, Viola Davis is great. one of her best performances. Uh, Lashana Lynch, I thought she was really good, too. She's becoming one of my favorite actresses. Not necessarily one of my favorite actresses, but I really hope she gets a lot more work after this and No Time to Die. I thought she was really good in both those movies. Uh, Thuzo and Dubu, um, I'm probably mispronouncing that, unfortunately. I thought she did a really good job, too, and Sheila Team did a really good job. Um, they also have really great dynamic, like the four of them throughout this movie. I thought they were all really good together. I thought they bonded really well. It was nice seeing them kind of work together. Also, the action in this movie is incredible. Um, Gina Prince Bythewood, she directed The Old Guard last year with Charlize, no, not last year, a couple years ago with Charlize Theron. They were, anyway. Um, my biggest complaint about that movie was that the action was not really that great in that movie, and here, the action choreography is insane. It's really good. I really like seeing the action in this movie. Uh, the score, I also thought was really well done by Terrence Blanchard, and I also thought the cinematography of the movie was also really good. So, what didn't I really care about this movie? A few things. One, I didn't really care for a lot of the villains in this movie. Well, I'm not supposed to care for them, but I guess what I'm trying to say is the villains are just so... One note, and I just didn't really care for them. There is one villain that is kind of uncertain about what he's doing, but I still didn't care for him too much. I just felt like the villains were just kind of bland, in my opinion. Also, the movie has a kind of predictable storyline where when I saw what was going to happen, when I saw like one little moment, I'm like, oh, this is where you're going to go with this story. And then that does happen. And I just kind of got annoyed because I just predicted that. But I still thought the movie was very effective overall. Also, I didn't really care for the multiple endings this movie had. It felt like this movie had too many endings. It's like, oh, this seems like a nice ending. I, I wouldn't mind if it wrapped up here. Oh, there's another ending. Well, I guess I wouldn't mind if it wrapped up here. Oh, there's another ending. Okay. And then it does end. And I'm like, all right, well, I guess you don't need to do the Lord of the Rings Return of the King endings. All those endings. <laughs> but... Um, I just felt like the, it just had way too many endings and I felt like it would have been fine no matter what they did with just one ending, but it, it just kind of got annoying to me after a while. So anyway, there's a lot of controversy because this movie is based on a real tribe. The story is fictionalized, but it uses a real tribe that did really horrible, disgusting things. And the movie, the movie doesn't shy away from what they did. It doesn't romanticize that. I've seen some people say, oh, we're, they romanticize what happened. I was like, that is not real romanticizing is. Like, romanticizing is like what they did with The Greatest Showman. Like, show P.T. Barnum in this really positive light and, uh, you know, say he did a lot of great things, but in, in real life he did horrible things. That was romanticizing. This is more simplifying it. Like, it does say, yeah, we did some really awful things and we're... We may change that, but the movie doesn't really explore it further than that. And I feel like for the subject matter, maybe it should have explored it a little bit more. I'm not saying that you should show it in depth, but maybe do a little better than just saying, yeah, this is a thing that we did and we're working on it and we're, we're sorry for what we did. And I feel like the movie could have done a little bit better just saying, hey, you know, what we did was wrong and apologizing, but I feel, feel like they should have done a little bit more than that. Considering this is, again, a real tribe filled with fictional characters, it's just kind of, it may offend people. I honestly didn't notice that until after the movie came out. Um, but overall, despite that, I still think the movie does stand on its own. 
do think the actors do a really good job. I think the action is incredible. It's it's uh, put together very well. Even though I don't really care for the villains or the multiple endings or anything like that, and some of the problem, there's a lot of problematic moments in this movie. I still think this movie is really good. I do think it's a it's a blast to watch, but you may not like it after learning more about like what actually happened. So I will still say this is worth seeing. I'll give it three out of four stars. See it. It would have been a little bit higher if I didn't know about that stuff afterwards. So what did you think about The Woman King? Did you see it? Also, what's your favorite action movie in the last few years? Comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. This is Pat. Stay safe.